I feel like the past year and a half, really, you've, you know, behind the scenes, I think people, this is how people know you, you know, outgoing, but your persona's kind of taking a life of its own. China Clay, how do you think you've opened up and, and why do you think you've kind of, maybe to the public eye, opened up a little bit? Uh, I think I just, you get more comfortable in your own skin as the years go on, especially in the NBA, because you're so, the first couple of years, so eager to prove yourself. And I think uh, back, my couple, first two years in the league, I just wanted to be so great all the time and, you know, make an all-star team, make the playoffs, all that good stuff, that I would kind of have this persona of just being locked in and focused. And these last few years, you know, when you win, it helps if you win a couple, few championships, you, you're able to relax a little bit, be able to enjoy every night, every day, the grind, and uh, smile a little bit more because it goes by so fast and, I can't believe it's going to be my eighth year. It just feels like yesterday, opening night against the Clippers, Christmas Day in 2011. So it's it's incredible. Do you think that winning those championships lifted that? Maybe you were a little tight, you know, in your first few years. Uh, it definitely helped because um, obviously with my celebrations after, I was so so happy that. So you were just loose, like you didn't care about Yeah, I, was, I did not care about anything. <laughs> Couldn't tell me anything after one of the first championships because I was just so happy and never thought I'd win a championship by age 25. And um, it was just one of the most exciting times of my life and I was gonna enjoy every minute of it. You're a big skateboarder. I, I yeah, think at one point you be. were used to be, not contractually obligated. Yeah, now. no, I can't really um, get on a board as much as I would want to. I've heard stories of you, you know, early in your career, skateboarding to get food before games and stuff like yeah. that. What, what kind of led well, that, that attraction? Uh, I used to live on Lake skateboard. Merritt, so it's a very easy place to skate. And then once, once I got more notoriety, I stopped because it was like, I don't want to fall. Someone get that on video, that'd be very embarrassing. And Social there's been too media. many, yeah, there's been too many <laughs> bad tales of athletes with either a snowboard or motorcycle, a moped, it doesn't matter. We've had too many accidents on them, so I kind of cut that off quick. But I still have a love for action sports. I really do. I think uh, those guys are, they're different types of athletes than us, but they're amazing athletes as far as what they do mentally and uh, the guts they have to jump in the air and do all that stuff is incredible. Do you get the itch to go back in the... Uh, not really, Boy. man. I was a lot more fearless back in my day. Uh, when you get older, you uh, things hurt a little more than they did in the past. But um, I'm, I'm sure one day when I have kids and I'll be skateboarding with them because I think it's such a cool cool thing, you know? It's, uh, it's just like basketball brings people together and it's a it was a passion when I was a ch as a child. The number one thing is, is the relationship with your teammates. But how much with you and Steph was there, not a competition on who's better, but just the shooters, just how good you guys are, especially early in your career and as the years have gone on, just continuing to compete with him as a shooter and vice versa? Well, we always have shooting drills. I mean, the three point contest was special to go against each other. And um, it's just fun to have a guy on your team who can shoot better than you, because I've never been in that situation my whole life until I got to the Warriors. And then we had a K KD as well, so it's two guys. And uh, it just motivates me to be even better. Those guys have eclipsed 50, 40, 90. And that was a huge goal of mine because I don't know if there's ever been a team with two guys that had that done, let alone three. So I'd love to join that club this season. So you look around the league in terms of back courts. I think you guys are probably ranked number one because of the, the way you guys are able to blend with each other. Like when you look around the league and see the other backcourts and you see yourself, how have you guys been able to hone in just the way you guys are able to, to mesh with each other? You can, you know, whatever deficiencies he might have. Uh, yeah, shoot. I mean, it started with Mark Jackson just instilling so much confidence in us, calling us the greatest shooting backcourt of all time. At a time when uh, there was a lot of pundits and people who definitely questioned him for that statement. And I'm um, very happy that we proved him right. And, um, our games just grew with one another. Um, it's crazy to think I'll be in, this could be my eighth year playing with Steph. I think we're the best backcourt just because our resumes. Uh, I think might back that up. And I mean, there's a lot of competition though. Obviously, the backcourt in Houston is very special with those two guys, as well as Washington. I can go around the league, but I, I, I would put us up there as number one. I know for you, championships trump everything. You know, in terms of your yeah. however people might view you, whether you're underappreciated or not. Was there a time though when you were coming up where that might have frustrated you, or that might have? Uh, 
irked you a little bit? Sometimes, my first couple years when I would spend way too much time on the internet and <laughs> reading about myself, and it was a little narcissistic, but it, it did feel good to read good things about yourself. Uh, but there are a lot of bad things, especially when you go to, you know, people's commentary. But I was kind of steered away from that just because with, uh, with our team now, we play so much basketball that it's nice to, you know, get your mind off it and try and learn about other things. I still am a huge fan of the NBA and I still love to keep up with what other teams are doing, what other players are doing. But um, for me now, at this point, I just love what I do so much that I don't really need people's... Uh... As long as I get the respect from my peers, that's all I really care about. So if the players and the coaches around this league think I'm a great player, then um, that sits very well for me. I don't need to, you know, please the fans. I'll please the fans if we win championships and I, you know, score some points along the way. You think you're the best two-way two-guard in the league? Can you, uh, can you say that? I mean, sure, but that's not something I'm gunning for. I just want to be the best player I can be. And, you know, especially with uh, – there's so much – covers these days that there's player rankings, position rankings. I used to care about that stuff, but now it's like, man, I heard John Stockton have a quote once actually about basketball being such a team sport and not getting caught up in that stuff. And that really resonated with me. I'm like, if the, one of the greatest point guards ever thinks that, then I'm gonna take that same mindset. So I, I don't get put too much you know, weight into that stuff. I just really wanna be the best team we can be because I think that means so much more than being the best player at your position because if you could be a part of a team that wins championships, you'll be a legend in, that, in your respective city and be able to have an impact beyond basketball, and that's what my goal is. You've been clear, like, my desire is to be a warrior for life. You know, however long I can be a warrior, I'm going to be a warrior. Can you envision yourself having your own team? Do you ever, at, at any point, yeah. think about all that? I mean, I don't know what having your own team really means. I know what it means to be the leader, the captain, the stat stuff and all that, but... I don't think this is Steph's team. I don't think this is KD's team. I don't think this is Draymond's team, my team, Andre, Coach Kerr. I think this is our, our team. I think we really, because without, without each one of us, we lose a huge part of this team. So I think we all understand that. And I just want to be on a great team. I don't want to necessarily be the focal point at all times, because I've, I've been to the mountaintop. I know what it feels like to win and win with some of your best friends. And uh, that's why it would be hard for me to leave, just because I put so much, you know, blood, sweat, and tears in this building and with this franchise. And um, I've had my ups and downs, but uh, I, I just, it was, I couldn't imagine myself being somewhere else. But, you know, it's easy for me to say that now, but with time, things change. So it's hard for me to envision what goes on in nine months. I just focused on the, this off night I got tonight and this off day I got tomorrow. I'm enjoy that to the fullest and then <laughs> take it day by day. That's what I've been better at in my career is taking it day by day and enjoying the, enjoying the grind because it's so easy to look to the future like, oh, we got 82 games to play, then we got the playoffs. Nah, you got to enjoy every night because these people pay their hard-earned money to come see the Warriors. That game six in 2016 against Oklahoma City, even I, when I look back at it, people look back around the league, that, that could have changed the trajectory of a lot of things. You know, you guys losing, Oklahoma City winning, KD maybe not coming. How much did you, do you think about that? Do you guys think about that? Yeah. I used to harbor on the past all the time. Like, man, I could have gone to this school, they didn't recruit me, but I really believe that everything happens for a reason. And I'm thankful that we got KD. Without <laughs> KD, we'd not be, we would not be the same team we are, and it's, he's just a joy to play with. Uh, I did not know how good he was till I played with him. I knew he was a really special player, but man, he's one of the best players I've ever seen and maybe the best. So uh, I'm so happy we got him. But I do, you know, look back on that game sometimes because it's cool to see what you have in you. and. That was a huge gut check moment for our whole season and um, for the franchise even potentially. Yeah, so it's a lot of different things could have happened if, if you guys I, lose I, that I, game. I know, and I st luckily I still hold that record, but I know Steph's gunning for it. It's gonna, I'm sure it'll be broken one day, but that's probably my most prideful thing. It's just you know, an NBA playoff record. That's I never would have thought that as a child holding an NBA playoff record. That's pretty special. On, on your favorite TV show, is there a character that reminds you? Man, of Bart Simpson. Because I, was, I wasn't a problem child as a kid, but I was always, I was a little daredevilish. You know, I, would, I was eager to jump off, off some stairs with a skateboard. I was eager to, 
jump off a high rise into a lake or something. I was just so, and I love The Simpsons. As a kid, I, I, I love Matt Groening's from Oregon as well. So uh, I loved watching The Simpsons growing up. And I just love Bart, he was my guy. Favorite shooters uh, before you, you enter the NBA, current, and then kind of this next crop of, of yeah. players. What's uh, Ray Allen, I really liked. I love Kobe because that man would take, and he was so fearless that it, it, it was amazing to watch. Um, who else did I really like? I like Mike Miller. I thought he was a great shooter for a long time. Uh, and he had a really cool AU team name there, M33M. I just thought that was a <laughs> swaggy name. And uh, there's plenty of other guys, but those three just stick out. I don't know why. Obviously, Devin Booker, he beat me in a three point contest at 21 years old, so that's pretty impressive. Had a 70 point game. Uh, it just reminds me of myself a lot. He's got a little more stuff to his game than I did, especially at that age, but he, uh, he is going to be a phenomenal player in this league for such a long time.